imposing social equality or inspiring individual spirituality. Suppose we are organizing an athletic competition. To be fair to all the participants, we will ensure that the playing field is level. That nobody has a has to can start from a point ahead of others. But how much can we level the playing field? Some players may be taller and have longer strides. Some may have been groomed by their parents to run since their childhood. Some may have been trained in college with excellent athletic coaching facilities. How many of these unequal starting conditions can we fix? Practically none. Suppose we were the head of a totalitarian government and wanted to make a fair world for everyone. Maybe with the greater power we could fix more factors. Still, life is far more complex than athletics. And the number of relevant variables are far too many to even be analyzed, leave alone, equalized. From our births and throughout the course of our lives, we all face various particular situations which are different and whose impact can't even be objectively compared. The world is not like a Lego toy that we can refashion so that it becomes more fair according to our schemes. Any attempt at social engineering soon meets unsurpassable limitations. Significantly, the Bhagavad Gita urges us to tolerate life's inequalities and dualities. Such tolerance doesn't mean that we passively accept all unfairness. It just means that we don't make fairness the sole focus of our endeavors. For reshaping society, we can focus on inspiring individuals to elevate their consciousness and become spiritually stronger. Their spirit is best strong, strengthened when they get spiritual insights that they are all precious parts of God, precious beings, parts of God. Gita wisdom explains that, this, that despite whatever unfair situations we may face in life, we all can still channel the potential we have and make contributions that are worthwhile in their own right, independent of the world's recognition or non-recognition. And find fulfillment in manifesting our individuality and our spirituality. Ultimately, happier individuals will shape a happier world. So, to summarize, to shape a better world, focus less on imposing social equality, focus more on inspiring individual spirituality.